Hey, Jimmy. Hey. You. What kind of a warm, friendly greeting is that? Did you want to see me about something? Yes. Yes, matter of fact, I do. I think it's time you got your act together and took it on the road, so to speak. What? Well, here there are a lot of planes leaving from here to New York every day. I think it's time we got on one of them. Come on, kiddo. Let's sit down. Let's figure out a day for your audition, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I want to go to New York. Good, good. Look, there are just a few things I have to get straightened out first. Like what? Well, uh, I'm under rehearsed for one. I'll be the judge of that. Well, I'm also a little nervous. Fine. That's fine. You know what to do. You channel that into adrenaline. And you put that into your performance. I'm not talking about that kind of nervousness. I... Oh, Dane, I really thought all this was behind me. Rusty just called, and he left some papers here he needs in order to conduct an experiment tonight, so I said I would drive them over, and all of a sudden I'm feeling a little uneasy about that. Ah, oh, I see, I see. Well, it's no problem. I mean, it's easily taken care of. I'll go over with you. <clears throat> oh, thank you, but no. No, this is my problem. I have to solve this by myself. Okay, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about gremlins, right? Mm. I mean, the real ones we can deal with. It's those imaginary ones oh. sometimes drive you buggy. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You're a good friend. <laughs> a good cheer-up, <laughs> too. Oh. <laughs> Listen, it might be your turn someday, okay? Oh, it's a deal. All right. Listen, I'm going to head home. Uh, when you get back, you give me a call, and we'll talk some more, okay? Absolutely. Can I walk you out to your car? All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dane? Yeah? It's Liza. Yeah, hi, babe. Uh, I hate to sound like an alarmist, but I think someone is following me. Listen, don't worry about how you sound. Where are you calling from? The phone in the car. Fine, fine. Where are you going? You stopped? You're moving. No, no, I'm moving. I'm going uh, west on Elmhurst, just past the new shopping center. Right. Look, I've tried everything. You know, I speed it up, I slow down. This guy behind me is doing the same thing. Okay, look, I know right where you are. I want you to get into the left-hand turn lane at the next intersection. Uh, okay. Okay? Now, turn your signal on at the last moment possible and make the turn. All right. He did the same thing. He's still behind me. Okay, fine, fine. No problem. Now, next... Get in the right lane and slow down a little bit, okay? Okay. Now start looking off for a road to the right. Again, I want you to turn at the last moment possible. But don't get crazy. Don't screech your tires or anything. Just, uh, just make it look like you forgot where you're going for a minute. All right. All right, it's coming up. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we lost him. <laughs> Feeling better? Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel relieved. Good. Maybe even a little foolish. Hey, don't worry about feeling foolish. Look, we just took a few necessary precautions, okay? Yeah, well, still, I hate to bother you. Bite your tongue. I'm unbotherable. Well. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I... He's behind me again. Are you sure? You sure it's the same car? 
I don't know. I, I, I think so. It looks like the same. Right. What am I supposed to do now? You're not going to do anything. I'm going to come out and meet you. You got it? Now proceed to the airplane hangar of Turner Instruments at the airport. Got it? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. All right, now listen. Slow down a little bit so that I get there ahead of you. Now listen very carefully. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do when you get there. All right. Oh. What is this? I said be quiet. And don't make any funny moves. All right. Now you turn around very, very slowly. And keep your hands where I can see them. What are you, a cop or something? What is this all about, anyway? Suppose you tell me, huh? Suppose I tell you, you jump up and down all over me, and I'm supposed to tell you what's going on? I think you got it backwards, brother. Don't try kidding me. What were you doing following this woman? I haven't been following anybody. You tailed her all the way over here. Well, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Aren't you, uh, Liza Santel? Yeah, what about it? Well, my name is Ringo Altman. I'm a business associate of Warren Carter's. And you, your, your name is Taylor, right? Yeah. We, we, uh, we met at a, uh, a big fancy ball at the country club a while back. Maybe you don't remember me, but, but I remember meeting the two of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, he's right, he's right. I remember meeting him now. Well, you do look a little familiar. Well, thank you. Now, would somebody mind telling me what this is all about? Suppose you tell us, huh? Should you try explaining what you're doing here? I'm in the market for a new plane. What? Like I told you, I'm in business with Warren Carter. You must have heard what happened to our airplane. Yeah, it crashed in the jungle. Yeah, well, with the kind of corporate business we do, we need an airplane. Now, I was looking at this uh, ha twin-engine Harris 200 over there. Fine, go on, huh? Go on. Well, the owner wants $350,000 for it, and I figured I could talk him down. So Warren asked me to come out here... All right, all right, all right. That still doesn't explain why you were following Mrs. Santel. I wasn't following anybody. Look, I drove out here, minding my own business. I pulled into the parking lot. You dragged me out of the car and stopped practicing your kung fu on me. Uh, you know, I, uh... I think I've made an awful mistake here. Maybe. Look, I, I don't know what any of this is about. All I know is there's one road out here. Now, if Mrs. Centel happened to be driving in front of me, I didn't know anything about it. Liza, how long was that car following you? Quite a while, but, uh, you know, with all the turns and everything, uh, this is awful. I think I've made a terrible mistake. I'm sorry. Why, uh, why would, why, why would anybody want to follow Mrs. Sintel? Let's just say, uh, Sintels have had a few problems this past year. It's been a rough year for them. They're just merely being cautious, that's all. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, then, let's all be cautious. You, be cautious of who you're accusing, and I'll be very cautious of who I let drive in front of me. Um... You know, I, I think I was very nervous, and I probably panicked. I mean, there may have been two or three cars. I'm awfully sorry. I really am. Well, that's all right. Look, forget about it, you know. There's no need to apologize. I'm willing to forget the entire incident if you are. What do you say? All right, it's okay with me. Look, if there has been a mistake. Forget it. I told you. Now, uh, if you don't mind, I would like to go and check this plane out, and then I'm going to go home and put something on this neck before it stiffens up. You're pretty good with your martial arts, my friend. Thanks. Oh. Oh, Dave. It's all my fault. Oh. I am so embarrassed. Don't worry about it. You'll get over it. Look at it this way. Maybe it's a good thing this happened after all. You've been expecting the worst thing possible to happen today, right? Well, if this is it, then we got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> hey. Your uh, vital documents, sir. Thank you, dear. Hello, Dane. What are you doing here? Well, I was, uh, I was on my way over to Liza's and uh, uh, your house, and she was on her way over to see you, so I thought I'd come along for the ride. We were doing some work, and yeah. guess what? 
We are going to New York tomorrow. Dane's going to set up the audition. <laughs> hey, no kidding. When did you decide all this? Oh, uh, a few minutes ago. Isn't it wonderful? It is wonderful. <laughs> Thank you for finally talking her into it. Hey, no problem, no problem. I mean, I may ask 10% later on, but for right uh... now, reflected glory will do just fine. <laughs> Well, listen, uh, we don't want to keep you. I know you have experiments to do, so we'll be on our way. We have plans to make, right? Right. Okay, so good night, everyone. Bye, Lazarus. Good night. I'll and see you out. Oh, okay. Oh, are you going to be able to set all that up? No problem. Hey, a couple of well-placed phone calls. Yeah, I'll take care of it.